Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x plus y is equal to 6 and xy is equal to 36. Our job is to find the value of x and y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now we have the equation 1 x plus uh, y is equal to 6. We move this x to the right hand side then we get the value of y is equal to 6 minus x. Now we put this value of y 6 minus x in equation 2. Equation 2 is uh, x times y is equal to 36. So we replace this y with this value 6 minus x. This will become x times 6 minus x is equal to 36. Now x times 6, 6 x and x times negative x, negative x squared. We move this 36 to the left hand side, this will become negative 36 is equal to 0. Now we rearrange these terms, we write negative x squared first plus this 6x minus 36 is equal to 0. Now we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So this negative x squared will become positive x squared. And this plus 6x will become negative 6x and this negative 36 will become plus 36 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 6 and c is equal to 36. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times negative 6 plus minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write negative 6 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 36 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative times negative 6 will become positive 6 plus minus square root of this negative 6 squared will become 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36 divided by 2 times 1, 2. Next, x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of, from here we can factor out 36. So, 36 as common in bracket left 1 minus 4 divided by 2. x, x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 times this 1 minus 4 will become negative 3 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to 6 plus minus this square root of 36 times negative 3 can be written as square root of 36 times square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6 times square root of 3 and this is square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, this will become i divided by 2. Next, x is equal to, from the numerator we can factor out 2, in bracket left 3 plus minus 3 times root 3 i divided by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x, x1 is equal to 
3 plus 3 times root 3i and x2 is equal to 3 minus 3 times root 3i. Now to find the values of y, recall that Recall that y is equal to 6 minus x. Recall that y is equal to 6 minus x and y is equal to 6 minus x. So, when x is equal to this value, then y will be equal to 6 minus 3 plus 3 times root 3i and this will become y is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 3 times root 3 i and y will be equal to 6 minus 3 3 minus this 3 times root 3 i. So, when x is equal to 3 plus 3 times root 3 i then y will be equal to 3 minus 3 times root 3 i. Now, when x is equal to this value, then y will be equal to 6 minus 3 minus 3 times root 3 i. This will become y is equal to 6 negative times 3 negative 3 negative times negative 3 plus 3 times root 3 i. Next, y is equal to 6 minus 3, 3 plus 3 times root 3 i. So, when x is equal to 3 minus 3 times root 3 i, then y will be equal to 3 plus 3 times root 3 i. So, we get two pairs of solutions x comma y is equal to 3 plus 3 times root 3 i comma 3 minus 3 times root 3 i. The second pair is 3 minus 3 times root 3 i comma 3 plus 3 times root 3 i. Now, let us verify these values of x and y. To verify, we use the original equations. The original equations are x plus y is equal to 6 and x times y is equal to 36. First, in this equation, we put the value of x and y. So, this will become 3 plus 3 times root 3i plus value of y is 3 minus 3 times root 3i. Is it equal to 6? This negative 3 times root 3i will be cancelled out with this positive 3 times root 3i and this 3 plus this 3 will become 6 is equal to 6. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now, in this equation, we put the value of x 3 plus 3 plus 3 times root 3i times value of y is 3 minus 3 times root 3i. Is it equal to 36? Now, by using this algebraic entity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This will become 3 squared minus 3 times root 3i squared is it equal to 36. Now, this 3 squared will become 9 minus this 3 squared is 9 times this root 3 squared is 3 and i squared is i squared is it equal to 36. Now, this i squared is equal to 
i squared is equal to negative 1. So this will become 9 minus this 9 times 3 will become 27 times this i squared will become negative 1. Is it equal to 36? Next 9 negative 27 times negative 1 will become plus 27. Is it equal to 36? 9 plus 27, 36 is equal to 36. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Means uh, these two pairs of solutions are valid.